Welcome to the latest video where we're going to be talking about um, landforms and landformations created by igneous rocks. So our landforms can be created by extrusive igneous formations and intrusive. We're going to be looking at the creation of tors and what's required for a tor to form. We need an igneous intrusion. Um, below that we will have some water table um, water which will have a look at how that comes into play later. We're going to have weathering that takes place on the surface of the earth. So this is ongoing. We've got wind erosion, water erosion, all sorts of processes that can remove that top layer of soil until the igneous rock becomes exposed at the surface. So when that becomes exposed, um, what we're going to start seeing is water getting involved um, with the rock directly. So water seeping in from the surface. It goes into little cracks and it wears away these little gaps, these little joints, and the igneous rock starts to get weaker. And those little joints um, with the water, sand and silts and clay are all going to fill into that gap um, and erode away. And the water is going to continue um, filtering into gaps further down and gradually wear away until we get this jointed blockish looking um, object. When that um, then all reaches the surface, the soil erodes some more and we end up with this um, land formation which is known as a tor. So in the same way that tors form, you're going to see things like domes, monoliths, volcanic necks and other kinds of um, igneous rocks, intrusive igneous rocks, being exposed in exactly the same way. So that soft rock on the outside gets worn down and these intrusive igneous features start to show on the surface, um, just like the tor did. So I hope that helps. Um, I hope you learned something from that one. If there's a section that you're not sure about or questions you have to ask, just add a comment below and I'll see if I can create a video to help you with that one.